Now, there has been quite a bit of Star Wars news since Star Wars Celebration, and I have not had time to cover it, but uh, that's what I'm going to do now. While I'm still pretty hesitant about how Episode Nine is going to turn out, I think some of the other projects they were giving us more info on at Celebration look really good. I think the best thing, hands down, to come out of Star Wars Celebration is everything from The Mandalorian. Like, I am so excited for that show. That looks spectacular. You've got Dave Filoni directing the first episode. The overall story is directed by Jon Favreau, who's a lifelong Star Wars fan. He's the one who directed the original Iron Man, the one that set off the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, which is one of my favorite Marvel movies. Then you also have uh, Taika Waititi, the man who made Thor Ragnarok, my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, he's working on this show. You got Pedro Pascal is the Mandalorian. He's the Viper from Game of Thrones, if you don't know who he is. And all of these wonderful names are coming together to work on a show set after Return of the Jedi about a bounty hunter who's called the Mandalorian currently. I mean, I want more could I want. Like, it, they're going to do this right. I, I really think they're going to they're gonna do this right. This, this show could be really, really good. There's also, like, shots of George Lucas being on the set. And so if George Lucas is there, Dave Filoni's there, John Favreau's there working on bounty hunter stuff in the criminal underworld of the Star Wars universe set after episode six. There's a lot of upside to this and I don't see all that much downside. I think it's gonna be really good. Now my second favorite thing to come out of this is the second trailer for Clone Wars season seven. I mean, that trailer was good. It was so good. Like that, I felt things again. I felt things for Star Wars after watching that trailer. Watching the scene where Ahsoka leaves Anakin again, oh, that was, that's some good story right there. And Ahsoka, that looks so good. She looked awesome. Her new lightsabers looked really cool. Uh, those blue ones, the, those look good. And then, oh man, when she slices through all those guys. I'm watching Rebels right now, and that's kind of like my only complaint about Rebels is just that there's nothing like, they don't show any of the gore, I guess. It's not even gore, it's animated, but they don't show any of the air on-screen deaths. I mean, that, that was in the trailer. You've got Ahsoka like slicing eight dudes in a circle. Oh man, that looks so cool. And then Maul, he looked awesome. I'm, I'm just so excited for the whole Siege of Mandalore and the Bad Batch clones and just seeing Anakin. Second trailer just confirms that I think this is going to be spectacular again. I really think the success of the Clone Wars season seven will probably help show that, hey, Disney, like, can you make a more mature animated series um, besides just the resistance make a separate one that is like more geared towards like young adults or adults like the Clone Wars because there's a big market for that and we really want that. I'll make a full video on episode 9 a little bit later but just quick thoughts on this really wasn't all that impressed with the trailer. Title? Mm, the Rise of Skywalker? I either I'm either gonna love it or hate it yeah it, there's not a whole lot in between it, I'm either gonna really like it or I'm gonna really hate it whenever the movie comes out. If it means that Rey's a Skywalker, that's really stupid. That, mm, no, please don't do that. Uh, if it means they're renaming the Jedi the Skywalker, that's that's also dumb. Please don't do that. If it means Luke Skywalker's back, best movie ever made. If it means Luke Skywalker's alive, I'm gonna be so happy. Like, I but so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to hold my judgment for the Rise of Skywalker title until the movie comes. But currently, I think it probably is gonna be something lame. Palpatine being brought back. When he started laughing in the trailer, that got me a little excited. Um, then I kind of started thinking about it, and mm, yeah, no. If they bring back Palpatine, if he's alive and Luke isn't alive, uh, that's going to be really, really, really disappointing. Like, I will be very mad about that if they just straight up say they didn't kill Palpatine and he's alive, and then Luke's actually dead, and it's going to be Rey and Kylo that... Mm, no. Don't bring Palpatine back, and then Luke's still dead. Like, if they do that, that's going to be really stupid. I think they can fix it. They could totally fix it with one movie. Um, it retcon a lot. I'll make a full video on that later, but um, yeah, I am reluctant, but I hope they do well. I, I really hope it's a good movie. I hope it's everything I want it to be. And then the last thing I'll talk about is uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I thought it looked cool. I feel like we didn't get that much on it. I mean, we still know that it's about a young Jedi Padawan uh, after the events of Order 66, so all the Jedi are wiped out, and it's him and his master, I believe, um, in their adventure. And I actually thought it was going to be Kanan, but... I'm happy that it's not. I was a little worried that if it would turn out the game was bad, I was worried they would kind of mess up Kanan's origin story. Um, so I'm, I'm happy that it's a different character, and I'm I'm hopeful, but it is EA making it, so I, I don't know how you can fit micro microtransactions into a single-player story-based game, but I'm sure they could find a way to rush the deadline and make it bad. I'm very, very excited that we're finally getting some like single-player story-based Star Wars games again because... That was what I always liked. I liked the story games. That's what <laughs> I've been missing that. When they canceled the Force Unleashed 3, I was a little sad. 
not a little sad. I was very sad. I'm one of the few people who actually enjoyed Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. I understand why everyone hated that game because it was very, very short and kind of trash, but I still loved it. I'm excited for it, but I would like to see a lot more from a trailer or just some gameplay footage before I'm like all in hype train on that game. But yeah, those were the main things that I was really excited about from Star Wars Celebration. Star Wars isn't dead, even if Episode 9 sucks, there's still going to be some really good stuff coming out. And uh, especially with Game of Thrones airing again, man, I'm excited for those guys to make some Star Wars movies. Those are going to be good. Look out for my Episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker theories, and I will catch y'all in the next one.